Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you guys with a new video. But before we get started, please make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. You know, I was right here uh, looking through some of my old videos and I came across, you know, uh, one of my earlier videos. I don't know if you guys remember it or if you guys haven't seen it go back and watch it, right? Or that cat from, uh, you know, when he was up north, he ended up uh, getting, you know what I mean, molested by another... Uh, you know, by Sally, and the Huda didn't end up finding his body, right? Even though he was in the cell, right? Till like a few days later. And I started thinking, like, damn, how the hell did that happen, right? But uh, a story came to my mind, right? Uh, about when I was uh, in Southern Reception, uh, I started thinking when I was in Cabrillo, I started thinking, this, I, I kid you guys now, man, this time right here, this is the sickest I've been in my life, like, till this day, right? The sickest I've been. I was like, I'm talking about sick, like I was throwing up, fever, like all that, bro. Like, put it like this, like for like three days straight, bro. I don't even know what the hell, like I don't even know how I survived, bro. Like I was just, I don't remember that those days, right? I remember the hoodas would come through. Uh, you know when they pop your cell like at six in the morning, uh, before school they would come and cats would pass by with the car, right? And they would uh, pop your door so you could get your breakfast. So I would always be up, you know what I mean? Wait by the door as soon as they pop. You know, I'll get my lunch, you know what I mean, and go eat. The bum-ass foods, they wouldn't wake up, right? They would just be sleeping, and then the cat would have to go in your room and then just leave it on top of the bunk. Uh, but that time, man, I wasn't coming up. I wasn't standing up. Like, I was gone, bro. I'm talking about they would pop the doors for showers, right? And I wouldn't come out. I was I was too sick, right, to even get out for showers. Uh, even school, they would pop it for school, everything. I was, like, not coming out at all, right? And this is what the story that I'm saying is because uh, I just wanted to show how, you know what I mean? Not only the medical side, but just the security side as well was just, you know what I mean? It wasn't it. You know what I mean? Like, they literally didn't really give a damn, right? You could have been dead and they wouldn't even really give a damn. But granted, you know what I mean? There was people that would kind of do stuff like that because they were scared or they were PC. Uh, they were kind of, that was their way of PCing up, right? Like, they wouldn't want to come out for school. They wouldn't want to come out for program or whatever. So, you know, I give them that, you know what I mean? There was a cat, I'm not going to say where he was from, he was from Orange County, uh, from Tustin, uh, where he ended up catching phase or whatever, and then he just, I guess, decided, like, you know what, he just didn't want to come out no more, he didn't want to come out to program, he didn't want to come out to, uh, to school, just in general, he wasn't coming out. He ended up getting switched over, right? I don't know if you guys remember, there was, like, that mental side on the other side, right? And, uh, I remember one time I visited, uh, I remember seeing him, like, I was right there in the visit, and this who comes out through that other area, right, through the gate, where it just, this who just comes out, and I remember seeing him, he looked out of it, bro, like, this who was a regular dude, you know what I mean, like, I would talk to him, he was regular, and when I seen him, he just looked out of it, bro, he looked blanked out, I don't know if because he got him on medication or what, you know what I mean, but, they, so they probably thought I was busting one of those moves, right, so they would tell me, like, yo, you gotta come out, or we're gonna write you up, I would tell them, I don't, I don't care, you know what I mean, like, I'm, I'm fucking sick. One time, they just popped my door open, boom, like around 8 in the night, right? They tell me, hey, you're going to medical. So I go to medical, and I remember the Huda, the the nurse, she checks me, right? She checks my heart rate or whatever. And she looks at me, she's like, are you on drugs? And I was like, I remember it specifically, bro. This is what I told her. I told her, nah, I told her, I'm just fucked. That's what I told her, you know what I mean? So they sent me to, uh, you know, one of those uh, cells right there, one of those rooms right there uh, in the medical side. Right? transportation comes and they take me right i remember it was somewhere in la I, I didn't really see but it was like a regular hospital but it was like underneath or something like that it was like in a basement somewhere something like that from what i recall right and it was like like a big door dorm right like open dorm just beds 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 fools right there right uh, that were busted uh and i remember since i was a minor at that time right i was still 17 they kind of put me like in a back room, but it was still kind of like an open setting, so you could still see everything. Like, not everybody's right there and shit. And I remember uh, they they tell me they check me or whatever. They end up coming right and uh, checking me. Turns out I had something or whatever they needed to do surgery, right? Uh, so they tell me, yo, you you're able to make a phone call, right? So boom, I I call my hafita, right? Rest in peace. I call her and. Uh, I tell her, you know, like, I'm in the hospital, uh, 
you know what I mean? They're saying that I have this other thing or whatever is I need to freaking get surgery. And I remember I tell her, right? And she just starts breaking down over the phone. She starts crying. She starts telling me, uh, you know what I mean? That every time that she was there, when something would happen to me, right? When I was in the hospital, she would uh, always be there with, with me, right? So she felt bad because she's like, you know what I mean? I, I can't be there with you, right? And mind you, right? This is when I was 15, I got little twice within a six month period, right? One of those, when it, it was serious, I, I was in the hospital for a month. I'm talking about she was there every day. She would sleep on the couch. She was everything, bro. She would go to the hospital, uh, uh, visits, right? Appointments, everything that I had to do, uh, therapies, everything. She, she was there all the way, right? Uh, even the second time when I got lit up, uh, everything. She was just there, you know what I mean? Righteous, righteous mom, you know what I mean? And she starts breaking down and shit. And, you know, I still, I just tell her, like, you know what? It's going to be okay, right? So I hang up and I'm tripping out because of what she just told me, right? And it got to me because I started thinking, right? I said, this is the first time, right? Since 17, this is the first time I ever, you know what I mean? I was chained up to the bed, right? I was just in the bed, just chained up, right? I was chained to the bed and I just started thinking, like, this is the first time that it ever crossed my mind, right? That I just started telling myself, like, I was looking around, right? Just grown-ass men everywhere, right? Just over there, boom, boom. And I was the only fucking kid right there, right? That's what I told me. I'm like, damn, man. I was just like, what the hell am I doing here? You know what I mean? At that time, I still had, like, two years left. And I was like, damn, I'm just a kid. You know what I mean? That's what came to my mind, right? The first time ever that I ever thought like that, right? Because I grew up quick. I grew up at 11. I was already, you know, I'm doing everything that adults do, right? And that's when it just hit me, like, damn, I'm just a kid, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Uh, it started, I started kind of going through it, right? Like, I started feeling bad, you know? I, I miss my mom, you know what I mean? And she was right, like, every time she was right there by my side, you know what I mean? And it just, it hurt, you know what I mean? It hurt me. Nonetheless, uh, I end up going back uh, to, you know, the actual room where they're going to do the surgery. Since I'm a minor, they tell me that I, I had to give consent because even though I'm a minor, I'm considered an adult. Uh, so I had signed so I could go do the surgery. So pretty much once I signed, they're going to go and they're going to go prep me. And I went to the prep room so they could already go through the surgery. You know when your heart's so heavy that you just feel like, you know what I mean? You're just going to, like, you just sleep. Like, that's how, that's how I did, right? I was just waiting and I'm like, fuck, you know what I mean? They're going to come. They're going to do all this shit or whatever. I never liked surgeries. I never liked them. I was always, even when they told me back in the days when I got right here, when they had to remove my lung, street shot. And I told them, like, no, oh, fuck that. You know what I mean? I don't like going under. I don't like, you know what I mean? Doing all that. You know what I mean? And they told me, and I was like, no, nah, screw that. You know, I would tell them, like, just leave it like that. And they're like, no, nah, it could affect you later. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to end up having to freaking walk around with the damn, like, you know, those oxygen tanks. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Just, you know what I mean? But then my mom would always be the one that is just like, oh, mijo, you need to do it, and this and that. And that time, I didn't, I was just, you know what I mean? So I was like, fuck it, you know, it's an adult thing to do. So I just did it, boom. And I'm waiting, and then, uh, yeah, then the, I remember before, right, I fell asleep. But when I'm waiting, I had already signed the papers, everything. The doctor's going to come. They're going to take me to surgery in a while, right? And I remember I just prayed, and I told God, you know what I mean? Like, God, you know what I mean? I know you could do anything, you know what I mean? I don't want to go in there. I don't want to do the surgery, but, you know, it's in your hands. So whatever it is, you know, I know you have the power to. That's what I told him. I know you have the power. Even now that it's all said and done, it's in paper ready, they're coming for me. Whatever it is, I told him, you know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? If it be your will, then you know what I mean? Don't let it. And sure enough, you know, I ended up sleeping. I wake up. Next thing you know, they tell me, you know what I mean? The antibiotics are working, this and that. And then, uh, yeah, man, the, I guess I don't end up doing the surgery. I end up going back like a few days later. We're on lockdown. I tell the homies, hey, what happened? They're like, oh, we got down. We got done with the Morenos. It was a riot. And I was like, damn, you know what I mean? But I just said that quick story because I wanted to tell you guys how, you know what I mean? Like how just lax they really, Like even when I went to the nurse, right? When Not only when, when I was in right there sick as a dog, right? And different staff would see me and they, and they really wouldn't even give a damn, right? But even the, the nurse, when I went there and then she was just pretty much accusing automatically like yo you're a drug dog or you're this you know what i mean like they literally you know what i mean they didn't give a fuck you know what i mean but anyways guys i hope you guys like this quick little spill if you did please make sure to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe but other than that i'm all guys peace